Warning! The following clips are a mix of great pain and greatness. The completely stupid stuff is at the end. A jump over a canyon, I think this pink bike guy is ready for rampage. This one on the other hand is not so calm and collected. That was pretty much the worst case. Tomomi Nishikubo balancing on a thing that could be a tree, this is what trees are for usually, like Chris Acrig is showing us. But maybe they don't have trees in Japan, gotta ask Logan Paul. And we're staying in the forest, Edgar is completely loose and we are staying that way. Sleeper with yet another amazing out of control edit, my only source for UCI downhill, I love it. YT Industries in one of the coolest bike parks I've ever seen. Pulling off sick flips in extraordinary locations and since I got my dirt jumper I spent so much time on it. And speaking of time, the Swatch 9s have been back and it was a crazy event with the gnarliest fails and great drone shots. Speaking of which, Arthur the Blonde with his latest video UFO and I know what you're all thinking, is he really the blonde? I did some extensive research and I found out that he might be a fraud. We might have a case there, just like with the pink bike guy, front wheel case, that's a crazy one. New guy on the channel, Raphael Tonser building jumps with planks, this guy wouldn't pick up a shovel if his life depended on it. Tom Wag, really cool video with a dog in front of him, I don't know why he might be blind. And man, the pink bike fails this time are on another level, this guy does not have to worry about any college tuition, this is basically a free vasectomy. Evil Bikes and Graham Benson, this guy has beautiful eyes and a fun fact, his last name is the name of the cigarette brand I used to smoke and this information probably doesn't add anything to this video. Anyways, great video, new school is is its name and Fabio Whitmer seems to be riding in front of a school, another free one. One of my favorites, Chris A. Craig with GT bicycles, now that is a great advertisement for all maniacs out there who actually ride uphill, but my life usually goes downhill like Reed Park's phenomenal backflip over the road gap. And we haven't had a fail in a minute, right? But don't you worry, Pink Bike is serving you all day if you wanted to. And that is one good old tree tackle, let's see that one again. Slight shark fin out of the berm, yellow bike man lost control, even the handlebars are turned 180 degrees. Sometimes the stupid trees just win man, they're always in the background just waiting for your mistake. So you gotta stay focused. Classic mountain bike get it, featuring Ryan Howard, Matt Beck and Ryan McNulty. The Sidewalker, Fabio Wimmer might have a new Healy sponsorship or what's going on here. And Christian Arhart delivered one of my favorite mountain bike moments of the whole year, this is just so creative. Oh! He failed a couple times but then eventually he failed again. But you know, eventually he made it. Moving back to Wacom, jumping to the side of the trail there and it's actually a huge jump if you think about it. Speaking of huge, Reese Wallace and Giant Bicycles with a 360 down a massive drop. You do not see that every day, only on days where the Swatch 9's event takes place. Even the pros crash frequently there, look at that cinematic slow motion shot of an abortion. Daniel Russo fooled me there for a minute in believing it's a girl. While the powerful dangerous Dave is riding one of the stupidest skinnies I have ever seen, so cool. Classic Dave POV over some planks onto a log and this one gets really skinny into a drop. What a great channel. <laughs> Tunis the pros, even the amateurs at Pink Bike can pull off some manual landings and go downhill racing really fast, no problem at all. It is astonishing that this guy manages to not lie on the ground by now. But to make up for that, we are playing bowling and two guys are down. I've never seen that before. Sam Pilgrim is doing Sam Pilgrim things again, making his sponsors happy, trying to crack the back wheel. No! 
and Tommy C. Hype managed to film one of the gnarliest crashes of the whole year for sure. It is unbelievable how fast you would have to go to clear that one. And now to something totally different, Tomomi Nishikubo is inventing the mountain bike olympics. This guy is a god on the bike in terms of balance. And I love seeing videos that are a little bit out of the box like this one. Red Bull Bike, what a pleasure to watch. I in action sports with a monster drop and I would love Red Bull Rampage to be in the forest one day. It's a completely different vibe but I think it would work out. The jumps can be just as big. Speaking of which, this time it's the Saturday Sense, what a great series. Graham Benson in the forest becoming the exorcist on a bike just a normal day at Evil Bikes. And we're staying in the forest this time with a different set design. I don't know if this is supposed to be snow. Looks like cocaine is raining down in the bike park. Okay, I checked. It's supposed to be a dirt blizzard. I guess that's bonus points in terms of creativity, although I would have liked the cocaine idea as well. Chris A. Crick, first mountain biker to go sideways, that's also pretty creative. But this guy's videos are always that. Never what you expect. This has to be one of the gnarliest drops I've ever seen. This is so skinny. We got another message from our special rim cracking correspondent. Oh my god! This guy is a five year old in a man's body and I guess most mountain bikers feel pretty much the same. 510 and Greg Minar with a pretty unique feature. While Nuke Proof Bikes and Sam Hill clear a huge road gap and YT Industries delivers a ride so out of control I've rarely seen before. This guy got some serious balance issues. This guy doesn't, I think that's Gabriel Whitmer, the cousin of Fabio. And do you guys like these big sands more or the littler balanced ones? I am still undecided, such huge vertical sands are also pretty watchable. But then again I also enjoy a good old manual. I think the next one is a woman I've never heard before, Amy Canyon. Right into an extremely old video by Mountain Bike Extreme, Remy going far. And the same could be said for this guy at the Swatch 9s, but he froze in the backflip as well. And now we reached the last clips and they are usually the most insane Reese Wallace with a huge backflip. And this is the most intimidating start ramp I've ever seen on the Pure Darkness YouTube channel. This is quite some speed and a monster jump. Also sponsored by Monster as it seems like. Very intense and serious abortions. I love it. This guy is basically just swimming in the air. And the same can be said for the next one. Christian Arhart and Nine Yard try a quadruple backflip. Very good that they are trying this on an airbag first. Extremely cool, finally he made it. This thing worries me because... <laughs> what the f***? Why would you build something like that? The air and stone line starts here. And I crashed there yesterday so I'm really not happy. 